With edu on go users have all the features they need to host an effective web meeting, also known as a live session. To start a live session, select the courses tile, then select one of your courses. Let's say I wanted to host a web meeting in one of these sessions. To create a web meeting, you need to edit the session. Hover over the More section at the bottom of the right-hand toolbar and click Add Live Session. You'll need to name your session, select the date and time, and set the duration. If you'd like the live session to be recorded, make sure you've checked Recording. I've already created some live sessions, so let's pop in to have a look around. The first thing that you'll notice is a small window that pops up asking permission to access your camera and microphone. You can allow or deny. The other pop-up window is for your audio settings, so this will give you a good chance to make sure your microphone and speakers work, and also join the audio. This is your main live session page. On the left hand, you can see users who have logged into the session, and in the upper left, you can join or leave the audio. You can also choose whether or not you want to share your camera. What you'll see is your webcam preview, and you'll also have the option of changing your settings for the webcam. And this is how you start sharing, by clicking the Start Sharing button. This is the live picture that all participants will see in the live session. In addition, you have the screen sharing option. You can choose to show your full screen or just a region. You can adjust the size of the region that you want to share, and also move the frame to capture whatever part of the screen you'd like to display. So this is how you start sharing. Whatever is in this blue frame, is what participants will see in the live session. This tool button right here allows you to mute all users or mute all users except for the presenter. Participants can display a hand icon to indicate if they have a question or comment. With this tool button, you can lower all hands if you wish. When it comes to uploading files to a live session, you'll need to click this little file icon and upload from here. You can zoom in and out of your slides. And over here is the toolbar for your interactive whiteboard. You can create areas of text on your presentation slide and change the size of the text and also the color. You can also do things such as drawing rectangles or boxes, adjust the size and the color, you can draw triangles, circles, lines. You also have the undo option. If I wanted to undo some of the shapes that I've drawn, I just click this icon. And if I wanted to get rid of everything that I had put on the slide, I would just select this clear page button. On your right hand side is the chat. You have the public chat that allows anyone to type a message. And you also have the option of a private chat, which allows you to message back and forth with a participant privately. To select a participant you'd like to chat with privately, you'll have to click the Options tab. Here you can select who it is that you'd like to chat with. In the lower right hand corner of your screen, there's the option to change the layout of your session. So right now we're on default. We could choose to go to Video Chat, Meeting, Webinar, Lecture Assistant, and Lecture. 